Welcome behind the scenes here at the FST Grupa Bukurska Torren FIM Speedway Grand Prix of Poland. And I'm going to take a little walk down pit lane and uh, just give you some idea of what goes on on race day. It's uh, a long day, a long day of preparation for all of the riders. They don't want to get here too early. Uh, we discussed that last week at Stockholm. This pit lane is a lot narrower. There's 50, 50 bikes, over 50 bikes involved in the pit lane over the night. That's my interview area. That's where I'll be spending most of my time tonight. I've got an interested party on this side as well, Phil Morris, Grand Prix race director. Phil, it's, uh, it's a long day for you, isn't it? It's a long weekend. It is, yeah. They've just finished the technical control of all the bikes. They're currently fitting tyres. We've just had a big production meeting with all the organisers running the running event of everything. So yeah, we're all ready to go. The guys, the riders will start coming in now, getting ready for everything. So, yeah. As Phil said, technical. That's, that's what today is all about. They've got to check that every bike uh, will meet the required technical standards. Uh, there's a specific room which we're just coming to at business end of the pits. Greg Hancock, tyre woofing, that's what it's all about really. Ty wants to go away from here tonight. I'm sure as the champion, um, Greg's going to be hoping that he can take it down to Melbourne, but uh, I'm not too sure about that, whether that's going to happen. Over there, that's the technical room. That's where the bikes will be weighed. Uh, that's where everything is measured, carburetor size, they make sure all the measurements are correct. And this is the tyre compound and park ferme. That's where the third bikes have to be kept. You can only have two bikes in your pit area. Uh, any more bikes that you have have to be parked in there. That's where they're fitting the tyres. They've all got to be impounded as soon as they're fitted. Uh, they are released again at six o'clock for the riders and the mechanics uh, to put them back in the bikes. And uh, coming back down here, I mean, you can imagine how busy this gets. It's very narrow. I mean, even just with a few people that are here now, um, it's pretty tight. But when you've got riders coming in from races, riders getting ready to go out for races, it's very loud, it's quite narrow, the back of the stadium's just here, so the exhaust pipes, when they're all warming up, pointing straight there, and it's manic down here, I've got to be honest. Then there's the tunnel, this is where they'll line up, and we will go out to the arena. Here we are, inside the Mariana Rose Motor Arena at Torren. This is the ride down, where the riders will ride down, the three podium men, the victorious guys, they'll ride down here to a, a packed stadium, and it is so loud down here, you wouldn't believe it. I love interviewing the winner down here. The atmosphere is unbelievable. It's all about these three trophies here. This is what the guys want. And uh, well, it's all about the victorious man, the man that will pick up the biggest of those trophies.